Welcome to NBC News Daily, where we are coming on the air with breaking news on the crypto front. Just moments ago, FTX founder Sam Bankman Fried was sentenced to 25 years in federal prison. He was found guilty back in November of orchestrating a multi billion dollar fraud that led to the collapse of his company. A jury convicted him on all seven counts of wire fraud as well as conspiracy. NBC News business and data correspondent Brian Chung joins us now. Uh, Brian, it was interesting because you heard sort of prosecutors want 50 years, the defense say, look, five or six. How did we land on 20? Yeah, I mean, and the judge, you know, on just that appearance seemed to have sliced right in the middle. But we have to remember what the arguments were on both sides. So again, just to zoom out here, FTX was that crypto exchange and uh, Sam Bankman-Fried as CEO behind that lost $10 billion of customer deposits, all while living a relatively lavish lifestyle uh, in the Caribbean. Now, on the defense side, they were saying, well, he didn't know all of that. And also he was an altruistic person who made lots of donations. He was also socially awkward, didn't really enjoy being at some of the lavish parties that he was at. Uh, the judge didn't find that convincing and described that argument as, quote, misleading, logically flawed, and speculative. So uh, another thing that the judge interestingly brought up was that uh, he found that Sam bankman fried had perjured himself on the stand and, and, and lied and misrepresented some of the things that he had said, which obviously doesn't fall in the favor of getting a more lenient sentence. Mm. So maybe that explains uh, why this was a little bit higher than what uh, Sam bankman frieds attorneys had been asking for. But again, 25 years in prison. He's a relatively young man. He's 32. Uh, but nonetheless, it's a pretty substantial sentence. Then. A substantial sentence indeed. And, and federal cases don't allow for the possibility of parole. But is there sort of any world where Bankman Freed can have a few years shaved off of that sentence? Yeah, and we'll have to see what the terms of the agreement are. Again, I mean, 25 years in federal prison is what we know of so far. Uh, does the judge kind of outline any sort of terms to that? We'll have to find out. But again, we have to understand that the, the analog for this that most people compare this to is Bernie Madoff. And Bernie Madoff got over 100 years in prison. There are some differences between that case and this case where it was maybe more nefarious what uh, Madoff was doing, although, of course, the dollar amount of what Sam Bankman fried did in terms of fraudulently losing tens of billions of dollars, $10 billion of mm -hmm. customer funds, uh, there is that difference there. But he is a younger person as of sentencing, again, 32, which is, critical. which is critical, which means that he would be 57 even if he serves out the full term. You know, interestingly here, the government submitted like 100 victim impact statements in this case. Who are the victims here? And is there any world where they get to receive a payout? Well, there were investors in FTX. There were employees within the company that felt that they were betrayed. But the biggest of all, of course, is the customer base. The many people that had hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars in cases uh, in, in this trading platform, FTX, they were using it just to create trade cryptocurrencies, trying to make a few bucks off of Bitcoin or other types of things. But again, FTX was behind their backs using that money and then they lost it. Can they recuperate that funds? That's what a court in Delaware is trying to figure out. And that's a process that could take some time, Morgan. 25 years sentence. Breaking news. Brian Chung, thank you so much, Brian. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.